Hey there guys and gals, how's it all going? Hope you're all fine and dandy. Um, I'm speaking to you on Wednesday the 18th of August 2021. Um, in regard to my last subject, I mentioned about Jake Davison, um, that chap, that young fella in Plymouth who went on that shooting spree and killed five others before killing himself. Um, and the incel culture that he was a part of online. Um, I thought I would do uh, a subject, um, a talk on that subject, um, as I feel it would be a great topic to talk about. Um, so, um, for those who don't know, incel means involuntary celibate, a lot of young men, teenage boys, um, they can't find a girl. Um, they want to get laid, as it were, and all the rest of it. Um, can't seem to forge relationships. Um, and some of them do um, veer off into uh, violence. Um, the Jake Davidson incident is um, not a first-time thing. Um, there have been several incid incidences around the world, um, and America in particular, um, how do we go about combating this um, incel culture? What can be done about it? How can I talk about it? What, what can I really, what point of view can I give um, in a short space of time? So I'll, let's uh, I'll give it a go. I'm not saying that women should just bow down to men, you know, and be subservient and give men sex. Um, there's part of this... Um, incel culture that women owe men sex which is absolutely absurd and wrong but um yeah it does seem um, more difficult in this day and age to try and forge relationships and find the right one and you know um you know it used to be so easy like back in 1950s and 60s to find someone you know meet them at the dance hall way before you had the, your social media and all that um but nowadays, he, you know, it seems more and more hard to find someone, to date someone and everything. And it is very sad. And um, But there's no excuse for violence and all that kind of stuff. And all the hatred towards women and everything. I think there needs to be more emphasis on marriage. Um, talking about the family unit. Um, building up better communities. Um, there should be children from knee height to a grasshopper upwards should be told about the concept of marriage and how good marriage is and how better it is to be married and everything where now as you know kids grow up become teenagers become young adults and a lot of them don't settle down into the in their late 20s early 30s and by then guys had a lot of slept with a lot of women women have slept with a fair few men and then when they get together there's all these insecurities and a lot there's a lot more cohabitation and unmarried couples and they break up quicker which is really sad really sad there needs to be more stronger emphasis on marriage being taught by families being taught by schools being taught by society um, marriage is the best way you know you know how can i put it and, and marriage seems to be considered so old-fashioned and this, that and the other nowadays. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to read Beano and Dandy comics. You imagine, like, Dennis the Menace and Nasher. You know, typical scenario. His dad would be home from the office in a suit, reading his paper, smoking a pipe. The mum, the wife, you know, she'll be cooking homemade shepherd's pie. You just do not see that in comics anymore. That is considered so NPC and so old-fashioned, but... Um... But as kids, we were taught the value and the concept of marriage being, you know, you just don't get that anymore. I don't know. I just feel sorry for a lot of the young teenagers and adults out there nowadays. Do you know what I mean? And more and more women are less reluctant to want to be in relationships and everything. It's really sad. It's really sad. We need more. We need to value marriage more and teach it to our kids and teach it. That's the best way to be. It's. You know, it's better. You're better off being married by the time you're 24, 25, having kids, 25, stroke 26, 27. 
you know, you're still quite youthful by the time they become young, young adults themselves, rather than, you know, sleeping about, doing this, that, and the other, finding someone in your 30 odd, you know, and having, you know, your t kids are teenagers when you're in your mid to late 40s. You're exhausted and all the rest of it. More marriage breakups um, and all the rest of it. You know, it's best to have your kids 23, 24, 25. 27 at latest. I was 27 when I had Maya Joe. Um, you know, still be youthful enough by the time they're they're older. Um, it, it, you know, it's a complex issue. It really is. Uh, I'll leave it here. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.